And anyway, Disa helped us so we can move on. We can uh, recruit guys so we can work together. So we can uh, uh, take my, my son to Kretsch. Yeah, and then even the guys now, they can, they, they can buy whatever they, they would like to buy. Because now, now they, are, they are employed, you know. It's not like uh, they will go out, do criminal activities, those kind of things. And even our, the community, they are happy because now there is something that their sons and daughters are doing. Yeah, it's a cooperative year to before even at Tonsi because of intervening a cooler meeting, but there was no income. Understand? We go a meeting, it's sponsoring in the sponsor and as a total good as in your isn't just as trial, but is your failure. And then Satima's trial, Yamatayer, as I is a failure. Instead, your starter, your spare, when you is in Sakona, no good to see, see, afford in Gipil, Moba Songes, Nabantuana, Snamakaya, Snama expenses in a family swap as a. Even no man has to have monthly expenses. I got Kalang inspire a youth, yes, South Africa, because of you, Kalaga, coolest catch testing it, Agna Missavens, Agna in in at the same time, Bachelina in Missavens. So, inspire and wooting Bachel, Wooty Banga Peg, Wooty Uba Nutin. They must go out there and do a change. Baham Bebo is recycling because you only recycling in about time, I baby went mean, I see changing in Pilam, so now. In at the same time because of our about our community as an environmental, very environmental as a whole. So they are helping themselves and the environment also. I feel that uh, it's a great uh, opportunity or impact that we are assisting in order for them to reach their goal. So it's something that makes you feel better if you've got a contribution in something that transforms or changes the economy and make it greener, as you, you were saying. So we are part and parcel and proud to be uh, on that same vehicle that is Redisa, you know, doing or striving to do better uh, or trying to make it, uh, at times it becomes so, so, so difficult. But what makes you feel good to wake up in the morning is that uh, you know that you've created a difference uh, in somebody's, uh, somebody else's life. You know, a whole lot of guys that are here in the factory, you know, they don't have that formal tertiary qualification, but this space has provided them a, with hope, has provided them, you know, has actually brought change in, into their lives because they're able to come in here, operate a machine that gives pride to a person. They go back home, they're able to provide for their families and I think that for me it's the biggest thing that you can ever do because thousands and thousands of South Africans are without jobs. We're ensuring that um, our landfills, we're cleaning them up. Tires are lying around in our townships. People when they do it, they burn tires, you know. Um, early in the morning when it's cold in the corner we're burning tires um, just to get warm. Um, and we, we're not conscious what we're doing to uh, the environment. Now, to ensure that there are no tires that are lying around, people are, are bailing tires around, we're ensuring that whatever um, resources that we, 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 we get, what we produce, we ensure that we recycle them. It comes back into the mainstream. But in the process of that, jobs have been created, lives have been changed. I think Redisa definitely is a catalyst for change. I think that they've basically created almost an entire industry um, from the actual uh, transporters and the collectors, the micro collectors, to the depots, to the processors and producers, um, as well as now, this is the first waste beneficiation actually project that they're doing. One thing that Redisa has done with us, with this uh, um, uh, factory, we are pioneering, believe you me. We are the only one who has this type of a factory in the whole of the continent in the, in the East. It's one of its kind. So we are, we are pioneering. And one of the few that uh, goes into secondary market of green industries and producing products from your recycled material. So uh, we are reusing. By local manufacturers 
and uh, retailers and wholesalers using our products, what they're also doing is contributing towards the building of a circular economy in South Africa. And that means that we add the most amount of value, uh, both in terms of taxes and employment creation opportunities and value added in waste beneficiation um, through buying these products. So Redisa assists us by providing free transportation of tyres. They collect the tyres from different landfills and facilities which produces the tyres and they deliver it to us completely free of charge. Redisa also assists us by creating new downstream markets through new product and market development. I've seen a growth in our business quite recently with the new Mvelo plant which Redisa has set up. So this has allowed for additional um, product offtake and that has allowed us to grow in return. Through Redisa expanding our market, we expect that we can employ an additional eight staff, specifically at our facility. And I'm sure there's a lot of facilities out there as well, which will also have now the opportunity to bring new staff on and create new jobs. At our rubber coming facility, the minimum requirement here is a matric level education. So it opens up the doors for a lot of people who can't afford tertiary education to work at facilities like this. Theoretically, um, and this is based, based on, on, on European stats and adapt for South African stats of how many tiles it takes to make up a cubic metre in landfill we, or a cubic foot. We would have remediated over a million cubic foot out of landfill last year. We've just completed one of the first um, full NOSA approved children's safety sites um, in South Africa. The first two, one was an orphanage for Mandela Day to full NOSA specifications and the other was a massive playground for the American school where it had 60 millimeter safety layers. We put 18 tons into that, which is over 53,000 cubic foot remediated from landfill or saved from being landfill. As of the inception, we have supported Redisa because it's the same purpose that we do. We are a green company supporting the green elements environmental in South Africa. And we just found that Redisa has actually helped us and assisted us in that way. And we find as a proudly South African company, it has assisted us in also in the environmental issues where there's too many casings and tires laying around. We now have the opportunity to use that back in the product. We used to import the ground filler and the reclaimed product. Now that Redisa is able to supply energy and other guys the product, it makes it much easier. So the quantity and the percentage that we could use in there is much higher. First and foremost, it's because it was a new industry, it's always exciting to be involved with something that is new, that you know, you, you're almost like a pioneer. And so I thought Redisa, uh, which is the organization that brought this uh, opportunity to me, uh, was a pioneer uh, in recycling of tires. They brought a model that is unique in the whole world. So that just you know, excited me and you know, told me that this is the one opportunity I don't want to miss. Well, without Redisa, I don't think this model, business model, was possible. So they have assisted us in, in many ways. One, they have used their leverage to, to help us secure equipment, but also to help us, which is more important, to secure the supply of waste tires. Because without that material, without the input, which is uh, waste tires, the business is just not possible.